So we're in the nice, beautiful, historic Gold Hill. And we just walked through the Powder House. And the whole way there, like me personally, the whole way there, I kept smelling gunpowder. And at first I was the only one smelling things. And I kept asking y'all if you were smelling things. And you kept saying no. And I didn't want to sound crazy and tell you that I was smelling gunpowder. So at first I said I was just smelling the little cap guns. But it was so much more than just a cap gun. And then mom finally smelled it on the way down there. Um, you smelled it at the... It hit me big time. Um, but you smelled it a little bit on the way down. Uh, but on the way back, whew, it hit us both at the same time. And it hit us hard. Like, I just like gasped in and I could taste it and it was in my throat. Like it started scratching my throat and it was so strong. And it, there was two spots for me on the way back that hit me really strong. Um, but then there were places throughout the way back up that hit me as well. And I could smell gunpowder all the way along the track. Okay, you want my version? <laughs> all right, here goes. I don't believe in ghosts. I question the paranormal. And we're down here at Gold Hill walking the trails to this gunpowder house. And didn't really get too creepy of a vibe down there. It was actually pretty enjoyable. Um, smelled the gunpowder going down just barely. Um, but I did smell it in the exact same place, mind you, that I smelled it coming back. But anyway, we get down there, smelled it a little bit going down. Um, not as much as Julie. Come back and in the exact same spot. Now, I wasn't even thinking about the gunpowder. We were talking and visiting. At the exact same spot as where we entered in, it was a major strong smell of gunpowder. And Julie and I both at the same time looked at each other and went, <gasps> and when I did, I literally tasted it along with smelling it. It was the weirdest thing, <laughs> weirdest, weirdest thing. So then we walk on up the trail and again, hit the same spot as before coming down. This is the same place where I smelled it a little bit coming down, but this time I clearly got a smell of it and me and Julie looked again and was like, we smell it, but the first time it was like exaggerated, but this time it was just much smaller scale, but we both smelled it at the same place, same time. And you got to smell it. Um, and I guess that's kind of it, but I'm not a real huge- Oh, the huge... second time, the second time, it's hot, I'm sweating. Um, there's no way I could get, I'm not cold. There's no way you, I could get chills from being cold because it's I mean there's a nice breeze but we're hiking and it's sunny and it's hot um but the second time it's like I felt something start in my spine and just like it traveled the, from the bottom to the top and just like my arms were covered in goosebumps and Brandon saw the goosebumps on my arm and I was like there's mm -hmm. no I'm not cold I'm sweating but they're there and that's when I was smelling this gunpowder the second time really really strong Another important thing to mention is that we were surrounded by trees mm -hmm. and there's no one you could We were the no only one. people down there. In order to smell the gunpowder smell, there has to be some kind of firing of it and mm -hmm. it has to be in the air. And we smelled it so strong it was mm -hmm. like someone was shooting a gun ten R feet yeah. away from us. <clears throat> True. Yeah. And we were the only people down there. I mean nobody in a long range of us. Mm -mm. And I have always questioned paranormal stuff. I still question paranormal stuff, but this was the closest experience I've ever had to it. And I cannot deny what I smelled and experienced, but I don't understand it. Do you want to tell a quick little version of the story of the powder house? Of what actually happened there? Mm -hmm. um, I can, but you can tell Just it better. Just as far as your best recollection. Okay. Um, what you told me was there was two guards guarding this powder house back way back in the 1800s when they had gunpowder in there and people would steal it so they had to have guards and the gunpowder blew up and for some unknown reason we don't know why and how and it killed the two guards that were down there. Yeah, and that's kind of it. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That was crazy. <laughs> would, would you say that was the most vivid paranormal experience you've ever had? Yes. One of them, yes. It yeah. was yours? Yes. Definitely yes. top three for me. Because you don't just get goosebumps in 80 plus degree weather 
when you out hiking. <laughs> like, yeah. That doesn't happen. I haven't so. had a lot of paranormal experiences. I mean, I'm even racking my brain to try to think of one. And that's why I kind of question all this. And I always just throw it off on the, well, something must have happened to cause it, you know. But there literally was nothing down there that could have caused that smell. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, this is one I can't deny. Like, our kitchen light last night coming on by itself. But I do think I had turned the light on. And it just yeah. is buzzing and doing weird things. So you shuck that off to, well, it's doing weird things. But like, there was yeah. nothing down there but the three mm -hmm. of us. And that's it. And it was strong. I tasted it along with smelling it. Mm -hmm. How it's, strong was the smell? Oh, like, someone shot a gun right beside me. Like, sometimes, the second time, coming back up, when we hit the spot and we both were like, oh, that one hit me hard. Like, it got in my throat. Mm -hmm. It got in just complete... That's the one that hit me Just hard. covered me. And we were um, walking through an open field. An open field. Like, there's a baseball field to the side, and then the track and trees, but we were the only people on this trail. Right, and we just it's come it. out of the woods. Yeah. It's, it's right when you come out of the woods and back up into the clearing, you might want to say. But there's nobody in the woods mm -hmm. and nobody in the clearing at all. Nowhere mm -hmm. to be found. Like, I don't know how to explain this. This is, like you were saying, there's a lot of times where you can just shuck it off to be in oh well this is this or this is this but we they, i don't know how to explain this one no, I, have it, no I have no explanation for it i don't no. know there's not there's a not logical any there's, I, period. Nothing, there's not. nothing nothing no logical explanation it nothing i don't even, even know how to, to. no nothing i don't know how to even, explain it <laughs> nothing to even shuck it off to and no. say well that's because of this or that so mm -hmm. it was such a strong odor of gunpowder you literally felt it in your mouth you tasted i tasted it, it on my tongue it hit my tongue when i looked at julie and she looked at me at the exact same second and we both went <gasps> and that's when not only mm -hmm. did i smell it but i tasted it on my tongue mm -hmm. see for me it was even stronger for me because i was smelling it way before y'all were too um and so that time I tasted it. It got in my throat. It's like it just was completely packed my nose, and it's all I could smell. Um, and so and, it just like and, it got in my throat. And the weird thing is, you smelled it that time too, not quite as strong as us, but you were able to walk over to I that only spot smelled and smell it. Twice. it. You guys were smelling right. it for like she smelled it more than I did, but you smelled it that time. And then we all kind of walked forward five steps or so and got out of that little spot. And was talking about it and kind of in shock and then i walked back to that spot to see if i could smell it standing mm -hmm. right on that spot and it's gone there's nothing like just a few maybe a minute later it's just gone mm -hmm. maybe not even a minute yeah it doesn't last very long but it's just gone mm -hmm. and you can't smell it anymore so that's weird yeah all right that's the gold hill ghost story fall of 2019. anything else no there's ghosts. <laughs> Come back. Bye. <laughs>